Fire for launch in three, two, one. What up, Loco Coco Squad? It's your girl, the Rocket Blue, and I'm back in the cut. So, you know, you don't usually see my whole body. The only time you see my whole body is when things is about to go down. Now I told you that I had a special surprise for you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone. Welcome. <laughs> it's your girl Coco. We got Coco back in the building. <laughs> so I still have my cup and my pearls. <laughs> so we <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. So I don't know what we was gonna say. What we was gonna say. So we here. We out here. We out here, y'all. What's up? Long time no speak to you. Long time no see me. At the end of the day, <laughs> Coco called me. It was like you gotta come to my house right now. Yeah. Come on. So apparently, she. <laughs> got drinks. Okay. We got pearls. We got the grill going. Rocking. Okay, so she's gonna take and give her opinion on the R. Kelly situation. Y'all know she always be catching me up on shit. Okay. I'm black. What? At the end of the day, you call me. I didn't do my notes, but I can totally do this. You got this. I got this. It's just like riding a bike. Y'all see my shirt. Should I tell you what? Let's do this. All right, so. How you pushing your edges back and I'm pushing my edges back? <laughs> Is that a notice to let me know I need to push my edges back? No, I can see. Look. My, I ran out of edge control. My looted. My looted. I'm looking. It's Sunday fun day. What this got to do with R. Kelly, though? Oh, R. Kelly. So, you know what, y'all? Before we get started on this topic, you already know what we want you to do. We want you to hit that subscribe button, smash that like. Share these videos if you care. We're so close to 1K. We like 240 away. Yeah, super close. Ah, squad. Ah. Love the Coca Squad coming through in a big way. <laughs> So at the end of the day, when we reach 1K, we're gonna get five local Coco Squad, some little rocket blue apparel. And that's that. <laughs> my, my, <God. laughs> my whole vocabulary just seems. I got you. I'm like, and that's that. No more to be said. So I don't Stop. remember what I was gonna say again. Nothing. Not nothing. <laughs> so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Follow him, follow, 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 follow. Yeah, we got to start over. <laughs> we ain't starting over. Ain't no start over. Ain't no refreshment. Listen, hit us up on Instagram at her friend for life. That is my Twitter. Oh. <laughs> we're still not starting over. Hit us up on Instagram at her friend for life. That's my Twitter. Oh. Stop saying it. Just stop saying it. Hit us up on Twitter. It's because I don't have Twitter. You don't. You don't have to say hit us up on hit us, hit her up on Twitter on, on on her friend for life. Don't hit me up on Instagram. All now the links she to Instagram. All the links. All the links to all my social media be down in the comments below. And you got me on Instagram on IG at Coco Mill. <laughs> Facebook touch your hair by Coco. With two K's, K O K. -O. So with that being said. We're pulling ourselves together and we're about ready. So, R. Kelly, look at Coca Squad. Oh, you know, I'm from Chicago, as y'all already know. Born and bred. I've only been out of the shy for just a little over three years, okay? So, I don't care what y'all say, I'm always going to be shy town. But here's the deal about this R. Kelly thing. And you could argue with me or whatever it is that you feel like, but hold up, hold up, hold up. you're not even gonna you're just gonna go right into it. No backstory. No? no, I'm about to. Okay. But 
let's start here if some of you are new to the social media thing which is killing r kelly media social media that is so at the end of the day we got r kelly who is the pipe piper of r&b okay first of all pipe piper cringe <laughs> we already know what that was okay if not look it up i'm not here to school you okay just to catch you up on things stop okay she'll school you no that's cringy What's crazy? You called yourself the Pied Piper R&B. That's cringy. It very much so is. It, it very is Pied Piper. And that's why I'm saying people need to research. So that's first of all Pied Piper R&B. Okay. So I'm not going to tell y'all age. I'm 20 something. Bruh. And, <laughs> or more. Okay. Whatever. But I will just tell you this. When R. Kelly and the Aaliyah situation hit the scene, you know, they're they're talking about him with these young girls, holding them captive, them doing this, him having them do that, all this other stuff. Um, when you talk about that, it's not just cut and dry like that. And this is the thing that people don't understand. So first of all, let's go back. Let's go back to when this situation where R. Kelly first hit the scene. Now, when this situation where R. Kelly first hit the scene, don't don't be trying to be a mathematician, but I was about 15 years old as well. Okay. What? I'm 20 something. This is nothing new. Okay. Uh, we all, everybody, all black parents and, and and young girls that had sense about themselves, all made a a collective decision that he's off limits and he's not to be trusted with our girls, our young girls, and young girls need to be careful. All this that cute cute thing. Um. So let's just put that out there. Here's my issue. First of all, young girls gunning for older guys that have money, whether they be executives, whether they be drug dealers, whether they be uh, entertainers. Young girls have always, a particular type of young girl, has always been gunning for that guy. People are gonna get confused because they're gonna think that you're victim blaming. Oh no 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 no! Hold it goes on. further. Let, let me let me say it. Mm -hmm. So, and then you have a set of people that like it doesn't matter if young girls are gonna go after a oh, guy like that. He's Absolutely. supposed to be the adult in the situation and be like, nah. And this is true. And this is true. But you, everybody has to understand. Not everybody. Number one has self control. Not everybody has been taught moralistic things. And a lot of people are broken to where they might not care whether they have it or whether they've been taught it. Period. Okay? And this goes back years and years, hundreds of years ago. Okay? When, what was the thing that we used to do? Find yourself a good man that's going to take care of you and you just be a good woman to that man and you make sure that house is taken care of and you take care of that man, right? Gone with so many subscribers for this. Oh, the whole world has canceled R. Kelly. It's not even. It's not even like it's people half and half. The whole world has canceled R. Kelly. They have, and you know what? I'm sorry. Y'all can hate me if you want to. I'm still gonna play R. Kelly all day long because here's the deal: R. Kelly, the artist, is bomb. Robert Kelly is shitty. Period. So you can separate the two, his talent from... His I life. can separate the two. Okay, because there's a lot of people who are like, uh, what's the difference between what's going on with R. Kelly and what happened to Michael Jackson? What happened to Michael Jackson? They made a, a documentary called... You know David what? Island. So I'll I go on the there because I've seen it. What, this is what I'll say about Michael Jackson. First of all, I have a problem with the fact that somebody is starting to run their mouth now that the man is not here to defend himself. Boom. I'm out. Now you want to do a full thread documentary. I thought you was out. To go to the boys. So you not out? I am not out. You know, you know when I say I'm out, I ain't out either. You, but you, you, okay. you're, you're, you're in as my <laughs> So. Okay, this is a serious subject. We fucking. Okay. Okay, so what my, this is, this is the, first video Here's the thing months. that's different between R. Kelly <laughs> And Michael it's a Jackson. difference. Michael Jackson has been accused of things, and his accusers have been proven to be liars. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Michael Jackson has to take some accountability. Yeah. Because once people started accusing you of doing shit with little kids, no matter how much you love them, yeah, you got to love from a distance, and you didn't do that. That's true. You tried to be who you were. These were little kids too. They was like. Eight, nine, nine ten, year ten. Old. they were like, well, so, they shouldn't even been thinking about, so once, you know. once that happened, I understand that you love kids and you have an innocent heart and you just want to see kids happy. But once you got accused, when it was found out that the dude was lying, the first thing you should have did was like, I'm never putting myself in that position again. Absolutely. And you didn't do that. You Absolutely. continued to continued be the Mike to be B. Friend Jackson of the you young was. boys. Yeah. And so it left room for that situation to come around again. Yeah. Here's the thing that pisses me off about the Michael Jackson situation, and I guess we can come back to Mark. Our you know family. what? Because we got to double up. Uh -huh. the, the two Wasn't that people. one of his albums? R. Kelly. That was one of his albums, the double up. So we got to double up. We're dealing with R. Kelly and Michael right now. So two people. One. We might bring Bill in. Fuck HBO. <sighs> I said it, fuck HBO, because any documentary that's ever been made, a true documentary is gonna tell both sides of the story. Yes. Even if the narrative is going one way, yep. they're gonna show both sides of the yes. story. So HBO knew that there was no way that there was gonna be a Michael Jackson to refute any yes. of these claims Yes. to Go forward with this documentary, and you paid for it. Is what I was saying. And you aired it. That's is what that's I was saying. That's number one. If that was the case, Wade and the other guy, where was Neva, Neva Neverland when the This Is It tour was going on? Exactly. Because you know what happened when the This Is It tour was going on, Wade? You was begging Michael Jackson to be the choreographer of your tour. Can we talk about it? Can we be real? I'm just saying. This is the man who tormented you. And I'm just saying. And it wasn't until you were an adult man that you realized that you were being violated. But you were begging the man who violated you and tormented you. And you were a grown man at this point, And that's when it happened. It was you were a grown man begging him to be the choreographer of the tour. Well, that's up there with the producer of the surviving R. Kelly. He's a pedophile. He's a known pedophile. So at the end of the day, I'm confused. The other dude who was in the Pepsi commercial, Michael Jackson took care of you and your family for his whole life. Yeah. Now, is it Michael Jackson's fault that you nor your family did anything with your life? And you decided to live over Michael Jackson, and he didn't mind doing it for you. And again, now that those checks stops, the money, want, the mouths run. And that's, that's with what, both of them. That's with Wade, all three of them. Wade Robinson done burned his, burned his whole reputation in Hollywood. You fucked Britney Spears behind Justin Timberlake back. You fucked Prince's wife. Ah! You, every woman you get around in the game, you fuck. You undercut, you backstab people to get where you were in Hollywood. <laughs> now people don't trust you, so now you can't j get jobs. And the only person that was holding you down was Michael Jackson. And while he was alive, you would drop Michael Jackson's name. And you was quieted in the church mouse on what you feel like now was wrong. It wasn't you was quieted in the church mouse. You were defending him. That's Outright true. Right defending him. defending him. You said everything that everybody said was a lie. A fact. A fact. A, fact. a lie. A fact. Pepsi boy, you did it too. Pat. You said Michael Jackson never did nothing to me. Yeah. Everything was a lie. Yeah. And the thing about it is, I could understand the dynamic of power when Michael Jackson was at his height. Yeah. But Michael Jackson fell off. Yeah. He will be, he'll still be the like greatest. They all do, but he's still, he's still the greatest, the greatest of all performer time. in the world. <laughs> but as far as the charts, Michael Jackson fell off. Yeah. He fell off. Yeah. He wasn't as powerful as he was no. in, 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 in the social scene. So you had all that time up until the day he died. They were drugging the man. He wasn't even in, he his, wasn't right even in his right mind. mind. So but you could have went on ahead and did that. He was still alive to defend himself. Yeah. Y'all waited think that's to this whack. man I think that's died. Whack. I think that's whack. Don't wait till somebody is not available. If, these, if the thing about it is, is this. If these allegations were true, 
You should have brought them when he was alive mm -hmm. so that he could have been investigated and questioned just like R. Kelly is being done now. Mm -hmm. Now, through investigation and questioning, it comes out that he did what you said he did. That's a whole nother ballgame. That's ball a whole nother ballgame. That's a whole nother That's a whole nother, nother story. But at the end of the day, this man is dead and a legend. And you only came out because both of y'all are going broke. Yep, yeah, that's blasphemy. Both of y'all are going broke. Yep. Yeah. Check stop. Now I'll start running. Now my watch my money go. Watch my watch my money go like a watch my money go like a proud parent. Yeah, my money getting old and it's colder than all eyes on me. Drinks on me, girls on me on the dance floor. All eyes on me. Who is he? Then you better come get your girl up. All eyes on me. Party like a rock star. You can find me in VIP. Girls on me on the dance floor. All eyes on me. Then you better come get your girl dog All eyes on me Party like a rock star You can find me in VIP All eyes on me